What is good everybody, welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have some brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. We got some brand new images released by some people. I think this was on WWE.com and then a bunch of people started resharing it on Instagram and stuff. So I'm just going to let you guys know what's up right here. We have brand new images of the brand new WrestleMania 36 Elites, Basics, and Battle Packs. They look very, very good. Well, at least some of them. We're going to break down all of it, guys. Get into it and let you guys know what is up with all of these figures. But I am excited for these. You know, some of them do have some head scratching things going on and we're going to get into that and one of these figures has made me laugh every time I look at it like I'm smiling just thinking about it and I cannot wait for it to pop up on the screen so let's just go ahead and get into it guys starting off with the packaging look at this Kofi Kingston Elite from Wrestlemania 35 I really do dig this packaging I love the Tampa Bay Buccaneers the the feel that it's got going on because you guys know that Wrestlemania 36 is taking place inside of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers stadium so that is the reason that it is going to be that theme you know you got the pirates and all that stuff going on the packaging looks great this picture of Kofi here with the packaging looks excellent. I can't wait for it. And this, of course, is a build a figure wave with dangerous Danny Davis as the referee. Kofi Kingston is going to come with the hands to this, and he looks pretty good, man. I think the Kofi looks great. I like the attire we got going on. The only problem I have with it is the head sculpt, and the head sculpt it has like that fade. You guys know, like the receding hairline fade that uh, doesn't have any detail. It just looks like he's bald for a while, and then it just turns into dread. So I'm probably going to have to fade that up with some paint, but uh, not a big deal. I'll probably do that on. WWE extra figure surgery or something like that but I do like the attire I think it looks cool I love the pink sleeves and everything that we got going on so really excited for the Kofi Kingston figure next up guys we have the most hilarious thing I've ever freaking seen in my entire life and it is the Wrestlemania 22 Mick Foley figure and this looks hilarious would you look at that head sculpt my god what is that that looks hilarious I do not think this looks anything like Mick Foley to be honest with you I don't know what they were thinking with this one. Um, I think that the Cactus Jack head sculpt is going to be a head swap for me for this figure, and I like the rest of the figure. From the neck down, this figure looks fantastic, and I guess from far away it kind of does look like Mick Foley, but the freaking, the zoom in shot looks looks hilarious. I think that is so funny. I think they were trying to go for the Cactus Jack t-shirt look, like if you guys look at the head sculpt and look at the Cactus Jack wanted dead um, Cactus Jack t-shirt design, that's the head sculpt that looks like they were going for, but it, it doesn't look like him to me. I I just don't I don't buy it. It looks weird to me. When I first saw the image, I thought that it was a Jax figure that uh, somebody tagged me in. So that is absolutely hilarious right there. But I, I like the figure from the neck down. I think it looks good. And he is going to come with the torso of Danny Davis. Moving on into the next one, guys. We have Booker T from WrestleMania 19. This looks excellent. I really do love this. I love the white attire. I think the head sculpt is freaking perfect. I think it looks just like Booker T. We not only get the five-time hands, but we get pointing fingers and we we get mic holding hands as well so this figure is stacked you also get the arms and uh, legs of Danny Davis that comes with this figure I love the white attire I think the boots look good I'm just really excited for this Booker T I think this is probably the best Booker T to date as far as elites go I'm really excited for this one I think this is freaking fa I cannot believe we're getting five time hands that's great that's terrific can't wait for that I know we've gotten it with other people but coming with Booker T I like that they added that detail that is genius Moving on, guys, we have a WrestleMania 34 Elite, and it is Matt Hardy right here, and he, this is from where he won the Battle Royal, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal with Bray Wyatt helping him to win that, and he is going to come with the head scan of Danny Davis, and I like this figure a lot. You guys know I love the the white. I hate that we don't have a shot of it without the, you know, the House of Hardy trench coat on, but we do know what this looks like because we had a basic of it a while back, and I'm not sure how I feel about the head sculpt. I guess it's decent. It's not my favorite Matt Hardy. I think the lightness is there, but uh, I think I'm going to head swap this with a different Matt Hardy head sculpt. Um, I still like it though. I like this figure a lot. I love that we're finally getting that entrance coat and I love that we are getting this white and gold attire. I think it looks great. So I'm excited for Matt Hardy as well. And that rounds out our WrestleMania 36 Elite set. I think it's a pretty good set besides Mick Foley's head sculpt. That's just freaking hilarious. I think that is hilarious, man. I, I'm not going to get over that. But let's get into the WrestleMania 36 basics that we're going to be getting. And this first one up, guys, is The Rock. And I think this is a really strong head sculpt. I think this looks a lot like The Rock, and I think this is one of the better bald head sculpt smiling rock faces. I'm probably not going to grab the figure, but I still think it's a pretty solid head sculpt. Next up, we have Batista, and Batista's, I, I am not a fan of this head sculpt. I just don't see Batista in it, and especially since it doesn't have any facial hair, it doesn't have any hair, and I know that he looked like this at WrestleMania 30, I'm pretty sure. I still am not a big fan of this figure. You do get elbow pads on him and The Rock, but um, I just don't think that this is a very, I don't know, the basics just look weird to me 
and this head sculpt isn't doing it any favors. Next up, guys, we have a WrestleMania 15 Shane McMahon right here looking really good. Um, I wish we got more Shane McMahon elites. I feel like these figures would look so much better as elites, but I love that it's, you know, he's got X Chump on there with the WrestleMania 15 logo. You got the one, two, three on the back for the, you know, the Shane O'Mac, the champ. I've got your number one, two, three, and it looks really, really good. Uh, the head sculpt is, I don't know, I think it does look like a young Shane McMahon, but it kind of looks... I don't know, odd to me. It's the same exact sculpt that we got with the ringside exclusive Shane McMahon. You guys know in the red, the King of the Ring attire, but it's not the, uh, it's, it's got the true effects applied to it, so it looks a little bit better than that head sculpt. And I still think it looks, it, it kind of looks like a younger Shane McMahon, not like a young Shane McMahon like when he fought this match at WrestleMania 15. It looks like it's a younger Shane McMahon than that. Like, he kind of looks like a teenager Shane McMahon, to be honest with you, but um, it's not a terrible head sculpt. It's a solid little figure there. Next up, we have a Stephanie McMahon, so we're flipping on the other side of it, and not Shane, but we have Stephanie, and this is from WrestleMania 34, where her and her husband Triple H took on Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle, and this is a very solid head sculpt. I think this looks just like Stephanie, and the attack tires pretty bland. All of her attires are pretty black and just bland, and they look very, very similar every single time she wears an attire in the ring, and you guys know we don't really like her for her wrestling, but um, her, her head sculpt looks good. I think this is a very solid Stephanie head sculpt, and this may be one of the better ones to date. I think this looks a lot like Stephanie, so that's good for that. Next up, we have the WrestleMania 35 Seth Rollins in the WrestleMania 35 attire where he slayed the Beast and became the Universal Champion there, and we have that brand new head sculpt that is going to come on the Basic Series 102 Seth Rollins, which looks pretty good. Um, I think the the one on the uh, the, the basic, for basic Series 102 looks better than this WrestleMania Basic, but it's still think it looks good and uh, it does come with the smaller knee pads and they actually made the SR logo crooked like it actually was so that is a nod to Mattel for making that accurate right there and that's probably one of the better looking basics in the wave I think that's a really good Seth Rollins basic even though I'm not big on the basics and then we have my favorite figure out of the whole bunch and this is a figure that I'll most likely grab out of this set for sure and that is the basic Wrestlemania 36 Wrestlemania 35 Becky Lynch I freaking love this figure I think this is fantastic I love this head sculpt I think this is the best Becky Lynch head sculpt to date, and I think that it's supposed to be the same as the Elite 72, but it's not as pucker. Like, you guys remember in the video that we covered for Elite 72, we talked about how that Becky Lynch head sculpt had puckered lips. It looks like this is that same exact head sculpt, except the lips aren't as puckered, and they're not, like, as red as those, so it, it just comes off way better. The eyes are freaking brilliant. I think this is the best Becky Lynch head sculpt. It looks just like her. I think it's beautiful. It looks great, and I can't wait for this. I am actually really excited for this Becky Lynch figure, and probably one of the more exciting uh, women's figures that I've ever seen, so I'm really happy to add that to the collection, or I will be once it releases. Um, moving on to the battle packs, guys, these are pretty disappointing to me. I, I think they're outside of like some head sculpt. Th these, these are pretty terrible battle packs, so let's go ahead and get into it. First, guys, we have Team Hell No, and we have Daniel Bryan and Kane, and we have seen this Kane figure in Elite Form, and we have seen that head sculpt for a long, long time now, so that's kind of disappointing that it's the same head sculpt. Maybe some better paint apps to it, but it's pretty much the same head sculpt. Um, Daniel Bryan, that is a really good Daniel Bryan head sculpt. I think it looks like him, and I think it looks like him from that time period, and I really like the faded beard, uh, like the paint detail and the beard looks good. The paint detail and the hair and the eyes look good, so I think they nailed that, but it's just a really blab battle pack, to be honest with you. Uh, moving on, we have a WrestleMania 35 battle pack from Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns match, and guys, this Drew McIntyre looks dreadful. I think that this this Drew McIntyre figure looks so odd, and I don't know what it is. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think, but that head on that body looks so odd to me. He looks like a cartoon character or something, or like Squidward. I, I don't know. He just looks like his head's way too big for his body. Um, the, the Roman Reigns head sculpt, though, is phenomenal. I think that is great. I, I love the thicker beard we got going on. It's the same head sculpt as Elite 62, the Shield 3-pack, a, a head sculpt that we have seen time and time again, but the thick beard on there makes it look 10 times better, so I really do like that, and the vest looks good and everything like that. However, that, that Drew McIntyre, man, I, I'm not feeling it. So please let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about that one. And then rounding out our figures, guys, the last battle pack that we have is from WrestleMania 22, and it is Rey Mysterio and Randy Orton. And it looks like the Rey Mysterio figure has the old basic articulation. If you guys if you guys are seeing that, that is definitely the old basic articulation, and I don't know why they did that. It doesn't look like any of the other basics have that, but his does, and I'm not sure what's going on with that. 
Um, that is just really, really odd to me. Unless, I wish all basics would go back to that and, you know, go back to having articulated ankles and stuff. But it looks like this is just a re-release of the, uh, the base. This, this is basically a re-release of the Entrance Grace Rey Mysterio, except you don't get the cool accessories. They redid the eyes. It's not black eyes like it was on that Entrance Grace figure. And then that is a pretty much just basic copy of the Elite, what is it, 47 or 49? I think it's Elite 49, Randy Orton head sculpt. With the, I think the hair may be a little bit shorter. The hair is definitely a different color here. It's like a lighter brown instead of the darker brown they went with on that figure. But it looks good. I mean, the head sculpts look good. Uh, the Rey Mysterio head sculpt we've seen probably 600 million times. So that one's uh, pretty much a exact, you know, re-release. But the Randy Orton looks pretty good. I like the paint apps again. Like I said, the sculpt looks good too. It's just, it's just not nothing too too special about the battle pack. But I think that is it for all of the figure news that I have, guys, as far as the WrestleMania 36 figures. Again, the Elites, the Basics, the Battle Packs. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of the Elites. Again, I want to know what you think of that freaking Mick Foley. Holy crap, that is hilarious. Um, probably the funniest head sculpt I've ever seen. Um, again, but the whole set looks pretty good, except for that head sculpt. I do like the Kofi, the Booker T, the Matt Hardy, and everything. What do you think about the Basics? I really love that Becky Lynch. I think it's fantastic. And then the Battle Packs are just bleh. And I think the, you know, the Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns head sculpts look phenomenal, though. I will say that, and I am, uh, I may pick them up if I see them in stores or something just to do a head swap, but for the most part, guys, um, you know, it, it is what it is, but what do you guys think about everything? Let me know down in the comment section below. If we get any more figure news and stuff and images, I will definitely put them up to you guys, but thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.